That is a... Oh crap, a bandit camp. Did you hear what that guy just called me? Potty mouth, wow. So rude. Welcome back, survivors. It is day 38. Um, didn't really do much on day 37. I mostly spent it at the base working on a few things there at the base, which I'll show you guys later in this video. I'll go back to the base and show it to you. Um, if you look, I've got this quest up here to... That's one of the things I'm going to show you guys. There's an insect repellent light and a rodent repeller, which seemed like an amazing idea, and I'm going to go back and do those. I've already made them. They're in my uh, crafting station, the workbench. Um... We'll go back and check those out later, but I, I drove out to town. Um, this is the town that's just south of our base, um, and there's a, um, a really auto parts store here, and I was hoping this might be a good place to find a tool and die set. I uh, drove out here, scrapped a bunch of cars along the way, including, like, there were six cars in this parking lot. I scrapped all of those. Um, yeah, here's all the stuff right here that I've been finding in them, all the mechanical parts and all that. Anyways, let's get into this building and see if we can find a tool and die set. Because I know parts stores sell tool and die sets. I know, because I work at one. <laughs> I know they sell them, so maybe this is the place to find it. We've been looking in hardware stores. Maybe we should be looking in the tool stores. Uh, i got to smack a few zambies here. Excuse me, lady. Oh, Mr. Fred, sir. Sir, sir. That was very rude of you. It's not very good customer service here, guys. You should calm down. I'm I'm come here looking for a tool and die set, and you guys try and punch me in the face. It's it's rude. It's just it's not the way you do business, man. Uh I can't see you guys staying in business much longer in the apocalypse. That's the way you treat your customers. Alright, this is as good a place as any to look. Let's see. Car parts box. Come on. Ah, mechanical parts. Oh man. Come on. We really need a tool and die set. Come on. Oh, well, that's not a bad engine. Pretty good hammer. Eh. I'm not sure if I can make the hammer. Did I find the hammer book? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I've got like two or three of them already. Oh, man. Some pretty good mini bike parts. Not that it matters. I can make those. I need a tool and die set. Sambi, come on, bro. I he's going to take him forever to do that. While he's busy. While he's occupied. <gasps> yeah! Yes! Our tool and die set, guys! We've been looking in the wrong place. I'm so dumb. Oh, okay. Ah, what do I do with the rest of my day? <laughs> no, I gotta keep looking. I could use two of them, right? Or three of them. I need to put a couple in the forge, and then I need that one to make the weapon crafting station. So, guy, I didn't want to step outside of the building for fear of the Zeds respawning, but you're just gonna annoy me to death there. You got a stupid oven mitt. Yep, they respawned. I hate it when it does that. It's such an annoying bug. You step outside the building before you kill them all, there is a good chance that they will respawn inside the building, causing you to have to clear them all out again, which you thought you had already done. Um, casino tokens. Oh yeah, I don't. I probably didn't mention that. I grabbed... Um, that's not all of my casino tokens, but I grabbed a bunch of them and stuck them in my uh, mini bike out there in case we run across a trader. I wanted to have money just in case we run across a trader that has one, so I grabbed twenty thousand casino tokens. If that seems like a lot, we found all those. We found like fourteen grand in one chest, one treasure chest. Uh, last episode or the one before that. Uh, anyways, got a couple of wall safes here. Uh, I still got Zeds in the building though. Let me run around and clear all the Zeds out. And then we'll check these wall safes. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Don't be tricksy, Zambies. Don't be tricksy. I see you, I see you, and I see you. Oh, you would, you would dodge. Oh, they're going to get up when I'm distracted, aren't they? Oh, I hate it when they do that. Take her out. <laughs> I hit the table next to him. He did not even phase him. Oh. Come on, guy. Come on, you can do it. You can do it! Oh, he does it when I wasn't expecting him to. I was going to help him out. He didn't need any help, he said. Uh, That's locked. Where does that go? Oh, that goes into a little back room with some zombies. I see a soldier zombie in there. Oh, okay, okay. Well... That's locked. 
wonder where that goes. Um, let's walk around. Oh, I hate it when they do that. And make sure we've got them all cleared out of here. Uh, the poo is actually kind of useful for making fertilizer. I'll grab it. Whatever. I'll find something be better to drop later. It'll make me want to drop it, I guess I should say. Uh, that's gonna be scrap. Hmm, that's a good wrench. Um, I've got a purple one. I can repair it, but... Uh, those are probably worth some money there, right? Eh, not a lot. Not as much as I thought. Hmm, okay. Scrap that, take that. Where is this head? Come on, buddy. <laughs> so satisfying. Smack! Alright, the bathrooms are clear. Alright, there's no Zeds in the bathroom now. We've got them all taken out. All the zombies trying to take a dump. What the heck is that music? That was really, really weird. Where did that... I've never heard that music in this game before. Alright, let's see what we got. I found a gun safe in the back. Oh man, it's full of stuff too. Compound bowstring, PSG-1 rifle parts, a whole revolver, SMG parts, AK stock, like three revolvers. Wow. Um, yeah, I should probably grab that stuff. What do we drop those? <laughs> Got to be something I ditch. Cloth fragments. I can grow cotton and get that, so that's pretty easy. Uh, leathers, only three. I could eat the can of dog food, but I think I want to save that for when I get a pet, because I need to feed them for whenever I do get those dogs. Oh, the cell phone. That's garbage, literally. Um, the brass I definitely want to hang on to, so... Ah, boy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of stuck here. Plus, I just... Got to these uh, safes here, like one hit away from breaking open. See what's in them. Hey, what's that? Wooden roofing. Oh, we've already read that. None. It's not that valuable. Let it go. And exploding crossbow schematic. That's pretty good. You already read that. Um. Yeah, just gonna let that go. I'll let that paper go. Not interested. But we got what we we got the main thing we came out here for, right? What the? Where did you come from? I already thought I already cleared out all the zombies back here. In fact, I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, God, I got infected. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, I did that wrong, didn't I? <laughs> there we go. Oops. Hey, buddy. What's up? Uh, rubber ducky. I don't need that. Let's just scrap rubber. Let's just go back outside, yeah. Alright, let's see if I can sort some of the inventory and grab some of that stuff out of that, uh, safe. And we're probably gonna have to head back because we're overflowing with stuff. I probably shouldn't have looted, like, every car on the way over here. But I got the main thing we came for. I mean, the tool and dice set's what I was really looking for, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, I did want to go exploring a bit more today, but, um, you know what? I'm just gonna scrap that get rid of it. What else can I just scrap and get rid of? Bone shiv. I should be able to make another one pretty easily. Uh, the lead I'm tempted to ditch because it's only two, but lead is actually harder to find in this mod, at least it is for me, than regular. I can ditch that, 147 gas, to put the thousand in there. That's going to save some space. Um, I could probably and should scrap all this brass, and that'll create a few more slots. Scrap the short iron pipes. There we go. That ought to be enough to get all the stuff out of there. Let's go grab it. Scrap that. Scrap that. Scrap that. And if you're wondering why I'm hanging on to that jacket instead of scrapping it, it's worth 800 base price. I could sell it for 529 it's pretty good money on the next time I go out, you know, scrapping, selling stuff. It's pretty good money. 14 tokens I might just drop if I have to. But let's get in here, grab this stuff, and we are going to head out. Um, 
I did want to do some exploring, like I said, but our inventory is pretty full. I wanted to see what's on this road right here. I'm going to do that anyways, just to see what's on the road, since we're already down here. Um, you know, we've explored this road, at least uh, the town out here, where that military truck was at. But we've never been down this road, and I'm just kind of curious as to where it goes, what's out there. Um, oh, we're already out in this direction. We ought to explore it. Holy crap. Got the soldier out here. Hey, buddy, what you got on you? Oh, I forgot to explore this room, didn't I? He was back here, wasn't he? Yeah, I think he was back here. Gas barrel. Uh, workbench. Uh, some duct tape. That's pretty good. I'll take four duct tape. Ooh, one last chest. What do we got in it? Another tool and die set. No mini bike seat. Eh, I'll just scrap that. No room in the queue. Okay, well, I'll grab it. Scrap it. All right, let's go. Let's let's grab those guns and stuff. Oh, one more, one more, last one. And it was empty. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go grab those guns and see what else we can find on the road. And there's a building or something up there. I can see it straight ahead of me. That big point up in the on that hilltop. Maybe a trader. Can't tell from this far away. Uh. Not much going on the road. There's some... I didn't notice there's some little side roads that go off there. Excuse me, zombies. I'm doing something right now. I may go explore off the beaten path a bit. There's a house way out there, a lake. Ah, ah, ah. Jimmy, don't fall off the stupid mountain. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that zombie scare me. Uh, let's take a peek since we're down here. What was over in this direction? Probably nothing. Probably just like a campsite or something. Uh, yeah, just a little house, a small house, a cabin or something. Yeah, that's the same thing out there. Okay, all right, well. Let's get up and see what that other building is, uh, like to the south up on that mountaintop. Maybe a factory or something. Ah, look at this. There's a trader out here. This is actually not the one I was up on the mountain. I got off uh, and w explored those little paths. They go uh, just off the road there. And this is a trader here. Actually, this is one of the Paco's ones. I don't think we can actually trade here or sell any stuff, but... I wonder if I need a free inventory slot for him to give me... A, oh, no, we already got that gun. I don't... I don't imagine we'll get another one, right? Um, I'm gonna ditch that. I need to make room for that brass to come in. And let's see. What's going on in here? This is a pretty cool little base here. I like this setup. I like the layout of this one. The bridges. It's very scenic looking, too. <laughs> The butterflies. That's a nice touch. Hey, wait a minute. Is that an animal pen over here? Because I tried that and it didn't work. Maybe because I didn't have those corners um, pieces in there. Maybe that's why it didn't work. I don't know. I just know it didn't work. Oh, cool. Oh, neat. I should build something like that. With this scaffolding. I don't think I've ever built with this catwalks. Other than, like, I built so put them on the side of a tree one night, like, early in the game, just to get a place off the ground to keep from being off the ground during nighttime so that the zombies wouldn't be able to get to me. Other than that, I don't think I've ever used these catwalks. That's a shame. I really <gasps> ho ho! Ho ho ho! A munitions crate hiding over here. Look at that. Oh, an advanced crossbow. Oh, you're doggone right I want that. Um, sorry, dog. I need some dog. Food's got to go. You know what? I can... I've got coffee planted at the house, I think. Um, yeah, I think I've got a pretty good amount of coffee. Yeah, I made coffee like a night or two ago. I brewed up a bunch of coffee. Um, I probably got like 20 coffee ready to drink for mining and stuff like that. Oh, is this the same as the other one? Yep, looks like it. 
Paco Supro. I hear a zombie. Or I heard a zombie. I'm mean, probably outside, right? Oh wait, is, can I search that duffel bag? Ooh, I can. Didn't get anything, but cardboard box. Me. No good loot in that. Does this go anywhere? Outside of some scaffolding. This is a cool little layout. Is that another munitions crate? Oh, get off the spikes! Get off the spikes! Get off the spikes! Ow! Oh! Dang it. That is another munitions box. Wow. So I completely look, overlooked those at the last time we were out at the uh, Paco's trading station, which is not this one. It was another one way over somewhere. A rocket. Hmm. One rocket. One whole rocket. All right. I'm ditching the frames, and I'll take the rocket, because eh, I can always get wood and frames easy. Rockets are kind of pricey to make, and I don't have all the stuff to make them yet. Like, I think we've read the book, but I don't have the ability... I don't have the tool to put in the um, forge to be able to make them yet, so. I should have explored this place better last time. This is a cool little place. All right, let's go talk to Paco and see if he's going to... Probably not going to do anything different than the last time. He's probably still going to want us to complete that quest that he gave us. A water cooler. <laughs> a Mega Crush energy drink. Sweet. It's got electrolytes. I'll drink that. I wish it would uh, cure my infection. <laughs> Alright. Paco, what's up, bud? What's going on, man? How's it been? Uh, yeah, I can't talk to him. Nothing. Bye. Okay, well, nice talking to you. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your zombies at your back door, by the way. Ah. Anything else we can do? Nah. Alright, cool. Um, wait, what was that on the ground? What was that? Oh, a cement mixer. I'm like, what is that? Alright. Yeah, this place is pretty cool. I wish I'd explored the other one a little better. I missed those munitions crates at the other one. Anyways, um, while we're out here, we need to go check out and see. I should mark this. Um, let's see. Save waypoint as... Paco. And let's go see what was up on that hill. Up, up on the mountain, just uh, right up there. You can't see it for the tree in the way. Hey, Zambi, there you are, making all that noise out here. Well, it's snowing up here on the mountain, I can tell you that. I'm not sure what that building is. What am I stuck on? Don't get stuck. Well, it's just not rendering in fast enough. Wow, it's a lot of pop-up. Must be loading in this new chunk here. Yeah. That is a... Oh, crap. A bandit camp. Did you hear what that guy just called me? Potty mouth. Wow. So rude. Um, That's a cool looking... Quit shooting at me, bro. I need to mark that on my map, but... I don't want to get shot. <laughs> I don't have I don't have a gun with me. Well, I think I've got a revolver. I'm not going in there armed with a revolver. Sounds like he's got a sniper rifle. That would be a big mistake. Uh, let me drive around it, see if I can get it at least marked on the map. And then we can... Uh, sh shoot! No, 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 no! Drive off the mountain! No! <laughs> All right, well, that ought to be enough to at least see it on the map and be able to mark that as a bandit camp. I'm going to come wreck these bandits one day. I'm going to come over here with my AK and my sniper rifle, and we're going to see what's up. Ooh. Ooh, look at this lake. Cool. Let me drive out here a bit further, see what else is out here. There's like that lone island out there in the middle of that lake. Look at that. Huh. That might be a pretty cool place to build build a base on. Hey, wait, what is that? Is that a cave right there? 
Yeah, it looks like a cave. Probably nothing in there. We don't really have the inventory space anyways. Let me mark that as a bandit camp. Wait a minute. Let me get, take out this zombie first. Hey, lady. I'm a little bit busy right now. Oh, crap. I hear spiders. I heard it, but I don't see it. I hear another zombie, too. Zombies, I'm trying to mark something on my map. If you don't mind, I'm a little bit busy right now. All right. Yeah, let's mark that bandit camp on the map, and we should head back. Um, I want to show you guys what I've been working on the base yesterday and a couple of nights before. Um, let's mark that as a bandits, banditos, and we want to avoid them until we come back with some heavier weaponry. I'm going to come back with a rocket launcher for those guys. But yeah, let's head back to the base. I'll show you guys what I've been working on, and uh, we'll put up all this inventory we got, sort all this stuff. See you guys back at the base. Wait a minute, I just found another... Damn it, I just drove off the cliff. I just found... Hold up a minute. I just found what looks to be another trading settlement out here. What is that? Oh, that's a big pig and a zombie chasing me. Alright, be careful. That could be a bandit camp. Oh, it's got a white flag. So that's a trader. Oh, okay, cool. Trader Joel's. Hey, cool. I need to mark this on my map, too. This is just on the other side of the, um... On the other side of the road. It's up there on the hill driving back on the, along the road, and I could see it. When we came in, I didn't see it because we went this way around, and I couldn't see this one. But that's another trader. Cool. It's a little concentration of little traders over here. Hey, what's the hurry, bro? What's the hurry? Slow your roll. Slow your roll, son. Uh... Plastic. Might as well scrap it. Alright, um... Yeah, let's go in and see if this guy's got anything decent for us. I hear a rabbit getting murdered out there somewhere, but... I can't help you, little bunny. I'm very sorry. I would like to tame you, but... A little bit busy. My inventory's overflowing anyways. I <laughs> couldn't carry you. What do we got here? Traitor... Who's this? Trader Joel. Greetings, stranger. Greetings. I've got the best deals in Navis game. Oh yeah? You say you don't say the best deals, eh? Uh what do you got? You got anything good? You got anything cool? You got some bullets. Painting book. Mm, I already know that. Military leg armor that is terrible quality. Heavy bandit gas mask. Hmm, that seems interesting. It may look like junk, but it was worn by a survivor, so clearly it works. Eh, seems all right. Hmm, bunch of schematics we've already got. Tasting and brewing, we read that one right. Yep. Hop seeds, I don't need those anymore. Got plenty of them. A good shotgun part, but I've already got a full purple shotgun. Gate building, I do not have that. I want that. Because that's one of the things I want to build at the base. Ah, so glad we found that. Okay, so I need to sell some stuff to make room for that. Um, because that allows you to build the shutters and um, things like that. And I wanted to build... I haven't completely thought this out, but I had the idea to build a shutter for my mini bike to park in, like, underground, that sort of thing. So let's sell a few things here. Um... Actually, I think all my stuff for sale is in the other... is back at the mini bike. Oh, I can sell this mini bike seat. That's... I can get a couple hundred bucks for that. Uh, anything else? I could sell that pistol because it's not that good, but I should hang on to it for the parts for repairing mine because I like to shoot my pistol on Horde Night. Um, the revolvers are pretty terrible. Let's see. But they've got good parts in them. Man, I wish I could take them apart. But well, we're going to be able to do that. We've got the tool and die set so we can craft that station. We're going to be able to do that real soon. Um, gate building is 1,200. I still don't have enough. Let me go grab some stuff out of my... Actually, I've just got like 2,000... Y'all 20... come back now. Thank you, bud. i got like 20,000 tokens out here. So let me just grab my tokens and quit screwing around. i got like a whole stack I brought with just so we would be prepared. Uh, that'll work. And, you know what, just put up this stuff. I'm gonna check out that advanced crossbow soon, too. I keep meaning to do that, but I don't really have enough steel to make steel arrows yet. I'm, I, I'm like, just barely getting by on enough steel to, to repair my spikes and keep them upgraded and that sort of thing, so... I've got 
one whole. Well, I'll show you the spikes when we get back to the base. But I've got one whole row of them done, like all the way around oh, the base in steel now. So uh, let's go to the secret stash. Where's that gate building? I want that, buddy. I need that book. Thank you very much. Um, motion sensor generator bank. I could probably build all this stuff. Let's see. Anything else? A mining helmet. He does have some night vision goggles, but they're really low quality, so i mm, going to pass on them. And the night vision's not... Well, it got better. It used to be really terribly fuzzy looking, but it got better. But I think I'll stick with the mining helmet for now. Uh, let's see. Do we got anything else we can't just can't live without here? Where is his... He doesn't have any schematics at all, looks like. All right, did a quick walk around of his base. I didn't see anything uh, that we could really loot around here. Um, I did manage to buy some steel from him, but he didn't really have anything else. It was like that I couldn't live without, you know. But I did manage. I did buy all the the forged steel he had because I just got through saying how I had a hard time getting steel. Is that coffee? You know what? I might as well grab this since we're out here. All right, yep, we're heading back anyway, so let's head back into town, head back to base, put up all this stuff, and I'll show you guys what I've been working on in the base if we don't get any more distractions today, right? <laughs> all right, back at base, we got the gate building book, so I'm going to go ahead and read that, and what I was thinking of doing is building something right here, digging this out at least, and being able to park my mini bike underground just to kind of keep it safe. I don't think zombies really attack it, but it would look cool for one. And, uh, yeah, I just want to do it. So, whatever. Man, you can't make me. <laughs> um, let's grab some of this stuff here. I don't have much room here, but we'll grab what we can and get into the base here. But yeah, I was thinking of digging this out, redoing this, so that I could park my mini bike underground here. It would look pretty cool. I'll show it to you guys. I don't know when I'll get done with it. At the end of the day or two when I get done with it. Um... What, what did I work on here in the base? Oh, yeah, I painted all the walls, and I started adding in some lighting. Um, I was kind of trying to get these things to recess up into those uh, half blocks there, but I forgot that the half blocks count as a full block, and it's just aesthetically, it doesn't look quite right, but whatever. I was trying to put in some lighting. I got to run the wiring for all that and set up my generator and all that. But anyways, I painted all the walls, as you can see, um, except for that one. I forgot to paint that one. I missed that one. Uh, I got my beverage cooler here. Didn't I get a beer? Throw that in there. Um, let's see. I worked a bunch upstairs as well. Um, yesterday, I basically replaced all the wood on the walls with cement. And then I upgraded the floor. I did the same thing with the floor. Dug up all the... Knocked out all the wood and replaced it with concrete. And then I upgraded this uh, lower rung to the highest, to the higher level, the next higher level of concrete. So um, upgraded that. So this place right here, this is, these walls are much sturdier now. Um, not that the zombies hit those walls a lot anyways, but I want it to be extra tough for when we get the tougher hordes a little bit later. Then downstairs, oh, this is the cool thing I made. Let me, do I have a free inventory slot? Yeah. So I got the ladder, and I forgot all about this, right? I I'm, I can't believe it. But there's a, instead of going down the ladder, you can just make a free fall, right? You just drop down the hole. Literally, you fall to the bottom. You don't die because you put a hay bale right there, and hay bales, for whatever reason, keep you from getting any fall damage. You can fall I think you, the the distance is unlimited. I don't think there's a set distance. So you can fall from any height, and as long as you land on a hay bale, so you just place it strategically right there at the end of it, and that's just a quick way down, right? Boom, you land. No splat at the bottom. You land on the hay bale. You're safe. You know, it's a nice cushioned, safe hay bale. And I had forgotten all about that. It's a quick way to drop the bedrock like that when you make your your ladder down there. Um, set up my mill. And my, um, this is a, uh, what do they call that, a steam boiler. You have to have the boiler to power the mill. And then, um, so it runs off heat. So I put it down here with the other uh, components that run on heat. Of course, I got my chemistry station and all this stuff I've had. Um, put out my smith hammer here to, to make the metal frames for my generator and that sort of thing. Been working on all that. But now we need to make the... Um, oh, and I dug out oh, the pet staff. That was the other thing I need to make today. 
that's how you tame the dogs. Uh, so I, I was completely missing it. It's trying to hit them with the whip like you do with the uh, pigs and cows and stuff. Uh, but yeah, you need a separate item for that. And I just didn't realize it, so thanks. Uh, and I dug out a room. I'm not sure what I want to do with it, but I dug out this room over here since I made some coffee. I uh, dug this room out. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but uh, yeah, it's a room that's available for when we expand again and need some more space. Um, and I need to make the weapon crafting station. That was the thing I needed to make. Now let me uh, put that frame back so I don't accidentally fall. It's not that I would take any damage if I accidentally fall, but it's just annoying to have to climb back up and I didn't mean to fall down there. So just kind of stick that frame there. A hatch won't work on that because I have two squares open. If I had to plan that out a little bit better, I could have made it so that a hatch would attach. A hatch would attach. A hatch has to have all four corner, uh, all four edges, or three. Anyways, I tried it. A hatch falls. It doesn't work because there's an open space right here where the ladder's at. Anyways, um, I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. What did I need to make? Yes, uh, with the tool and die set... I needed to make the crafting station of, what was it, weapon. Yes, weapon workbench. That's what we need. So I'll grab up these parts and I'll make that. Oh, man, I'm not sure what happened here. But something broke in and killed all of our animals. I had two sheep in here or a sheep and a ram and i put a cow my cow in here and it is gone they're all gone uh i don't see their bodies anywhere i just had a, like a little mini horde out here when i came out here with several zombies ah oh, great um so i guess the zombies got in and killed them i don't know what happened um so i grabbed the um rodent repellent and the insect repellent light and I wanted to check those out here and place them on my base on my farm um, had a had a lot of uh, insects attack my crops again the last time this uh, this morning so I pulled them all up and I didn't plant anything until I get some of these things plant uh, set up here I wanted to see how they I have I guess I have no idea how far they extend but I should probably put it I wonder if we put it in the middle, how far out it goes. Or if we need to put it at, like, the edges. Oh, man, I have no idea how it works and how far it... I guess losing one little crop plot is better than um, losing a bunch of crops. So let's test it. We'll place one there, and then we'll place one on the other side. And we should get a pretty good idea. Actually, let's place one right there. And that should, when we plant everything again, that should give us a pretty good idea of how far that thing repels the uh, the bugs or whatever from getting into your crops. And also, I got the ultrasonic rodent repellers. Um, should place those outside. Oh, I can't. That's right, because the glass takes up technically a whole square. Um... I wonder if I could place them outside the walls of this. Because the rats spawn outside it. So place them... Um, I don't know, something like this. And then another one over here. I don't know. That might work. It might not. We'll know. Um, but yeah, I brought a couple of crops I needed to plant. My onion seeds... I guess I'll plant a few of those, and my crafting station just finished. The weapon workbench just finished, so I'm going to run back to base once I plant these seeds, and then we'll uh, check it out, see how it looks, and see what all we can do with it. Should be able to craft a ton of um, of new uh, stuff now. I guess not actually craft, but I can assemble guns with it now. Um, I need a spike to put in there. All right, I had to move that little... Uh, storage chest I had there but now we can place our weapon crafting station and now we should be able to oh this is all the stuff I grabbed out of that chest let me just grab a random little revolver here that's not my revolvers right here uh yeah let's grab this little guy and I should be able to disassemble and reassemble them now 
but you can only do it in this crafting station from what I understand. Yes, I can assemble it now, finally. All right, so we're gonna be able to upgrade all of our guns now. That's gonna be huge. We're gonna have much better weapons, much better guns going forward. Thank you guys so much for what for watching. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video, guys. Post me any comments or questions down below. And hey, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.